Hello world, this is my um, official third attempt at a unboxing video. This is my first unboxing video ever. And I'm doing an unboxing video of the mystery box I ordered from GalaxyCon, which you might have deduced, um, came in this very large box, which is very large. Um, and it's all Star Trek stuff. Um, it was not inexpensive. It was like $350. So let's see if I got my money's worth. Uh, all right. So first it came with, you know, some Galaxy Con branded stuff, some stickers and a pin and a lanyard and an advertisement <laughs> and a thank you card with a uh, discount code for my next purchase, which I'm sure is imminent. Um, and then uh, some things came in this box with an enterprise on it, which tricked me a little. I thought there might have been some kind of enterprise in there, some kind of, you know, toy. But no, it was just a box, but it had some good stuff in it. So let's see, what did I get? Well, first of all, I got this, this toy. It's a little vinyl figure. Um, I, I opened it. Uh, because there was no way to open it without being kind of messy. Um, and I know it's Kirk because there's a, you know, a little product card, but the figurine itself is still in this kind of um, serious plastic. And I am hesitant to open it in case I should not be opening it because I'm not familiar with this brand. But these look kind of cool, actually, because, look, there's... Um, there's Captain Pike in his chair, and there's Vina. I would really have loved to get Vina. And, I mean, you know, Khan is, um, uh, kind of strange looking, actually. Um, but also, uh, this Gorn would have been cool. And actually, the Telosian, any of, any of the characters would have been cool. So I could sort of see, because these are small, um, maybe they're easy to collect. I'll, now I'm going to look into them. So uh, kudos, GalaxyCon. You, you got me with that one. Um, okay. So then um, I also got a couple of small things. Um, I got this um, patch, this uh, Com Badge Delta patch, which I, I like. And it's I, I kind of like that it's small because then I can, if I put it somewhere, it's not a huge commitment, you know? Um, and I got a an Enterprise Delta pin from um, San Diego Comic-Con 2016. I assume it's from the Comic-Con. Why else would it say San Diego? Um, and this is obviously a licensed uh, pin. And I collect some pins, so that's that works for me. Um, I also got this multicolor pen, which I have no significant feelings about, but I'll put it in my pen cup and every once in a while I'll say, oh yeah, I have a pen with uh, William Shatner on it. <laughs> um, I don't think I'll use it. I did get a pair of socks, um, like full size socks that aren't bad and, uh, you know, better quality than I expected to be honest. One of the reasons why I've never ordered the socks is because I assumed that they were going to be that kind of really unpleasant feeling polyester or something. And anyway, these are not. They feel like pretty good cottony, soft inside. Of course, I haven't worn them, but you know, I might wear them four times in my life because I will want to keep them in decent shape. Um, one of the things I was really psyched to get in this box was this. It came protected in its own box. This glass um, uh, decor item. Uh, I don't know exactly what you would call it, but, um, you know, it's, it's glass and it's cool looking and it has that color that is sort of very close to command yellow, gold. And, uh, it's already got a, a thing on the back so I can, what do you call that? So I can hang it, you know, I can just stick a hook on the wall and hang it. Um, and I will, because I have a space for, uh, 
all these things. Um, one of the things that made me very happy when I opened this box was this. This is an autographed Funko of the Gorn, um, signed by the actor who I assume was inside that costume, but I am not familiar with him. I don't know his name, except I'm, <laughs> I'm figuring that his first name is Bobby, but I don't know his last name. And it's, um, this is cool because I was thinking about getting the, the Gorn Funko. Um, I have a bunch of Funkos out of the boxes because I like to touch things and play with things. Obviously this will stay in the box, um, you know. Then, um, and I have no idea what this is worth, uh, autographed, you know, so, uh, but I wasn't gonna get it autographed, so that's cool. This is a little uh, drawing of the original series cast, but if I'm perfectly honest, this this has no interest for me. Um, it's it's just I don't need this. There's nothing special about it, and except you know it has a big Spock. That's good, but it's missing Scotty, and it's not a photo. And uh, you know maybe I'll give this to someone um, who might enjoy it. But this I'm very happy with. This is um, like a diary um, with very nice lining of, let me just get the reflection off that, with uh, deltas with all the different uh, divisions represented and just blank for writing, but in each corner there's um, a, a delta, which I like. Um, I don't think I'll ever write in this, although maybe I could keep track of all my Star Trek collectibles in this book. That might work. Um, it also has a little thing for a pen, which is cool, but I think that this pen that I got is a bit too fat for that. So I'll have to get a different Star Trek pen. But I really love the back of this. Um, and um, for members of the tribe, uh, we could maybe write some Hebrew in here. <laughs> but if I want to keep it this way. But obviously this is the front. And it's quite nice, and it's sort of like got a leathery feeling to it. But I'm I'm into this. Obviously, this works for me because I like. I li whoops! I like this too. So I like this this logo and this design. Um, so that's cool. Then um, that's the end of the box. But then there's the little box. I mean, then there's some more stuff. So then there's this sort of. Uh, I haven't opened this. I don't know if it's a comic book or some kind of mini magazine. It's the size of like, let me see, it's, it's slightly, it's the size of a comic book actually. It's, uh, it's put out by GalaxyCon, I guess, and it says it was a convention exclusive, but um, I don't know from where or when, and I don't know what's inside. But it might be something that would be cool to auto get autographed, so... And, you know, tribbles, tribbles are always cool. Now, the first thing I saw beside the Funko that made me happy, very, very happy, was this guy, everyone's favorite Cardassian, uh, Garrick, autographed by the actor Andrew Robinson. And I have never met him. I don't have anything autographed from him. I don't have any autographed photos of him. So this is, you know, totally welcome in my collection. Um, and I really, I love Garrick, but I mean, don't we all? And then I also got an autographed photo of Robert O'Reilly uh, as Gowron, um, who is a great Klingon character. Um, and, uh, and as great as Gowron is, I have to confess, I was even happier when I saw this. Um, this is Terry Farrell from Deep Space Nine. Um, and it's a very lovely photo, but it's also a very lovely autograph. You know, it's large, it's kind of looping and sweeping, and I appreciate that. Speaking of autographs that are lovely and and which one might, might appreciate, we have the opposite here because I think this is Shatner's autograph. <laughs> Um, but I'm not sure because I don't have anything with Shatner's autograph, but I believe I've seen this. This is a poster, but it's the cover of a book 
And I believe I've seen this on GalaxyCon's website where they sell this autographed. And it's Shatner and the author, David Gerald. Um, oh, directed by Joseph. Oh, oh, so no, I, I'm sorry, it's not a book. I thought it was a book. I guess it's um, the, um, it's just a memento of the episode. Oh, actually that's cooler. That makes more sense. I see, okay. So I don't think that that autograph is the director. I think that's Shatner and that's cool. Um, and forgive my ignorance, I'm sort of figuring it out as I go. And the largest thing I got that I have mixed feelings about is this very large, it must be like, uh, I don't know, 12 by 16 photo of Kirstie Alley autographed, decently autographed um, from the motion picture, which makes it 43 years old. Um, and of course she's quite beautiful but it's a bit large for me and I'm not sure I'm interested in putting Kirstie Alley on my wall. Um, so that is everything. So we have a large autograph photo. We have Terry Farrell. We have Robert O'Reilly. We have Andrew Robinson. We have this mystery tome, <laughs> not a tome. Um, we have this episode, um, uh, I don't know what you would call it. Um, uh, artwork for the episode. Autographed by, I believe, Shatner. I need to check that because that obviously makes it worth more. A pretty cool book, uh, you know, blank book, and some socks, and this little vinyl figurine. Autographed Gorn. Funko. <laughs> this just every time I look at this, I laugh, and I suppose that's priceless. Um, and this, which, with all due respect, is not priceless. Um, and um, a good size pin, cool pin of the Enterprise. Um, the this pen, which goes in the not so priceless pile, but. You know, uh, okay. And this, which is cool. I'm really, I, I am far more into this than I think I sh even should be. Um, and then the Galaxy Con branded stuff. I actually really like this sticker. <laughs> I, I don't think I really paid attention to their logo because when I get email from Galaxy Con, I'm immediately looking to see who, whose autograph or, you know, interaction I might be able to have. And I'll just add that if it's Kate Mulgrew, I'm in, take my money. Um, so that's everything. Um, I guess one of my main criticisms would be that it's very the original series heavy. Um, I mean, except for, except for the photos, um, which we got Deep Space Nine. I guess they're kind of all Deep Space Nine. And uh, yeah, but there's nothing um, from the next generation. There's nothing from Voyager, and there's nothing from any of the new shows. And I would have been that would have been very welcome for me personally. Um, but that covers it, um, and it was definitely fun. Uh, did I get my money's worth? Maybe, uh, maybe with the autograph photos because I know that it costs money to get those now, and if you added up the cost of things and Shatner's autograph. But, um, you know, it's definitely fun to get a box and not know what's in it. And as long as it's close, you know, as long as you got some things that you like, I mean, it's a little crazy to spend a few hundred bucks on a mystery box, but I, I gotta say, I would probably do it again if, if they would, tell me if they could somehow tell me that there was more stuff outside the original series because I like the original series but I would like I would love Discovery I would love Lower Decks I mean anything Lower Decks um, and as previously stated anything Kate Mulgrew <laughs> we need a Kate Mulgrew Funko don't we? we we need Voyager Funkos where are the Voyager Funkos I am not talented enough to custom make a Voyager Funko Okay, thank you, GalaxyCon, and um, live long and prosper, everyone. Take care. Bye.